Paul Sellers, chapter 4, verse 32. Thou shalt lubricate thy plane with oil, and it shall glide through the wood. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Now one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is what do you use to lubricate the bottom of your planes? So you may be planing along and it just it feels like it's getting harder and harder to push, but you know your blade is good and sharp and you just don't know what is needed. Now Paul Sellers likes to use the la rag in a can method. Uh, this is actually a fairly common English method. Uh, it works fairly well. Um, other people will tell you use a stick of beeswax and apply that on there. And there's a whole bunch of other remedies, but most of them fall into either the category of a wax or an oil. And I kind of want to talk about what are some of the differences and what you might want to use for when you want to lubricate your soul. So first let's talk about the rag and a can method. This method was very uh, commonly popularized by Paul Sellers. Basically what you do is you fill a can up a good ways with a light oil, like a three-in-one oil. You wad up a, can, a rag really nice and tight down into the can, and that rag then allows that oil to wick up to the top. So this always stays good and oily. The nice thing about this is it's very quick. You just slide your plane across there and it's ready to go. It's been impregnated with oil and it will slide quickly across the wood. The problem with the oil is it tends to wipe off very quickly off the plane, and it's not as, as long-lasting of an effect. I find after a couple dozen strokes, um, I have a little bit of issue with it. The nice thing I do like about this is I often use it for oiling down the tools and keeping them a little bit more rust-free. So I'll use this on my saws and other things like that just as quickly. The other common method that a lot of people have been using for a while is beeswax. You just get yourself a stick of beeswax, and you can rub down the sole. And I just rub like that. And the nice thing about the beeswax is it lasts a lot longer than the oil. The beeswax will actually sit in the sole and will work fairly well. A downside to it, though, is it tends to be so thick that sometimes you get slight buildups on the plane. And if you're doing fine, thin shavings, those buildups might cause a little bit of an issue in your first stroke or two. Also, it takes a bit more work to evenly coat this all the way across as you're crayoning it. Um, and so this is a method that I switched to a while after using the can, but I really kind of like something in between. And so that's where I've started using this. This is actually a block of a, a thick paste wax. And I have a video on making this where I basically melt down beeswax and add in an oil. So I kind of get the best of both worlds. With this method, I can grab the plane, I can slide it across, and we're impregnated, we're ready to go. And it's just as quick as that, but I get the thicker coating of the beeswax that evenly coats across the sole. So this lasts a lot longer than the oil, is easy, is easy to put on the oil, and works as well as the beeswax without the thick clumping on it. I just have to make sure I keep a lid on it occasionally to keep any dusts or wood grains out of there. Every now and then if it gets too thick, then I just take a card scraper and scrape off the top. Um, and I really like this method. I've just taken a, the jar that I glued it in, cut the top off, sit on there, and now this sits beside my bench. So anytime I need to lubricate, I bring it over there, slide it off, plane is ready to go. So that is the method that I currently use. Is there one that is better than the other? Well, yes, I would say this, um, but you're going to find a lot of people who really love the beeswax and a lot of people who really love the oil. Try them out, see which one you like, and you might be surprised at what you find. But I have to say, if you've never used a lubrication on your plane, you've got to give it a try. You will be amazed at what it does. So there's a, a quick tip on lubricating your plane, whether or not you like the oil in a rag, or you want to do a beeswax, or something a little bit more fun and different, um, give it a try. You might be really surprised at what comes out. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. Uh, you guys were the suggestion for what do you use for oiling your plane, and this is kind of a uh, one that grew out of you guys. This channel doesn't have any sponsors, and I don't look for them. I want these words to be what I want to say and what I want to say alone, so that it is a free and clear information. If there's something I don't like, I tell you. Uh, if you'd like to help out with that, Patreon is right down there. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and see some more behind-the-scenes footage, you can do that as well. That's about it for today, and until next time, have a wonderful day.